My name is Dakir Abrams and this is my story. I grew up in a small town in Western Cape, um, Paul. I grew up with a family, quite a big family. Yeah, like I was very privileged um, having a big family and support and everything. Uh, I just think one um, thing that I struggled with was my visual impairment. Um, I was struggling with my eyes since I was born. I was born not completely blind, but I'm really struggling sometimes. Growing up, um, my parents never used to limit me and playing sport, doing contact sport, doing all sorts of sport. Um, so they never used to like limit me to do things. And I think that, that helped me is to, to have a bit more self, um, self-confidence. And I think that's um, very important in life to have that self-confidence and like to believe in yourself because a lot of people when they do have a, um, find it sometimes difficult to do things, uh, they go in their shells and um, I think that's just not what you should do. You should have that self-confidence and just build on that. I have a big family, like I said, and everyone loves rugby. I mean everyone. They, if, you, if you're a boy, you're going to play rugby. Like you grow up with a rugby ball and everything. Um, and I think when I was little, I used to have like this big glasses, thick glasses and I had to take them out when I was playing when I was seven, eight, uh, nine years old and when I took them off I couldn't really like see properly so like I was just there on the field and when I got my contacts when I was in grade three like nine years old um, I could actually see and I was like wow this is actually nice to play <laughs> and um, from there I just took it from there and like I, I enjoyed it and I still enjoy it today. After that, um, when I could actually see on the rugby field, I was like, I was more like, okay, I, I know what to do now, I know where to run, um, and I can actually do this. And from there, I was just training, training, and my dad will always be, if I'm a bit lazy, he'll be like, aren't you gonna train? <laughs> um, so yeah, that family support system actually really helped me. Um, and that's just, I just keep on going from there. I moved from Paul, which is very small, to um, Durban, which is way bigger than that. Um, and I was always at home, so it was quite a challenge for me. And I had to be more professional, I had to look after myself. And being here and um, coming from a family background, um, the Sharks felt like a family to me. So being a professional, um, and being in a family environment helped me to be that professional. It just takes one day where you just say, I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm, I'm just going to do it today. And from there, just go out there and give it your 100%. And that, that's all you can do because it doesn't help you just sit there and worry about it. Actually do something about it and have that self-confidence. Because self-confidence is, is massive in your life um, and you also gain more, more uh, discipline and more control over your life if you have self-discipline. When I was younger, younger I didn't have that self-confidence. I, I didn't have it, I struggled with it and uh, till today I still struggle with it but I would say just have that self-confidence because it helps you in life, it gives you that confidence in life and um, just to keep going and just to keep going and never give up. I know they always say never ever ever give up but that's actually the truth, you just shouldn't give up.